Hello, everybody, all over the world. Hello, and welcome to High GPS 204, The Man Melter, an episode that I didn't, didn't want to do because the weapon sucks. The end. So, well, I have to do it because there was a couple of unlocks that I didn't originally want to do on the show. Man Melter being one of them, Jag being another, Widowmaker being one. Uh, but uh, we got to the point where we covered pretty much everything else in the entire game, so I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, so we're going to go and look at the Man Melter today, which is a secondary for the Pyro. So let's just go into the game. Ah, I didn't crash. Excellent. That is good. So let's see here. Excuse me there. Um, one thing I didn't notice was the faster projectile speed, but I don't think it matters. But basically, you have infinite ammo, and alt fire can extinguish burning teammates, and that stores crits down in this corner. So that's basically it. Um, damage wise, maybe you want some sound. There we go. You do 30 on every consecutive hit, which is less than the initial hit. Because if you look at the initial hit, it's 30. Or 33, rather. You can see, 33. But if I hit him a second time, it's 30. So consecutive hits is actually less than the initial hit. So, but you, you saw that it was 50% faster uh, projectile speed. So let's take a look here and see if, let's just see if we can spot the difference. What does 50% faster projectile speed look like? I don't know, I can do like the no clip thing. So let's see, I go. Here, all right, here we can go, here we go. All right, if I do this, then, that nah, didn't work, all right, so I have to go back here, oh, there we go, then we have here. So it's faster, but not very noticeably faster. So just for a quick comparison here, if you, we, um, we do this, this one, 33, the same, but on the second hit, mini crit, 44. 33, 44, and with this thing, you can also jump. You can do this. Let's see, Whee! I'm not good with this. Yeah, there we go. See, you can jump with it. Not very high. And then you have, you know, the scorch shot, which is utility one, because you push them back. Does the least amount of damage, but they, they go flying, so might be able to push people off edges and off points to stop them from capping. And then you have the reason why you shouldn't use the man melter is because you have this thing instead. 33. 90. So yeah, that's like the reason. 93, oh, hello. There you go. So that's it uh, in a nutshell, pretty much. Um, there's no reason to use the man melter as long as the flare gun exists. 50% faster firing speed or Projectile speed doesn't matter because the firing speed is the same. You don't shoot any faster. The projectile just travels faster. And usually you're not at long range when you do this. So it doesn't matter. You're usually at mid range. And if you're used to the flare gun, it will be fine. So let's go into the first replay here. We got a lot of user submitted replays for this weapon, surprisingly enough. And everyone said this weapon is bad. Which is true because we have the flare gun. So, this is gonna be a submitted one from a new guy. This is gonna be, guess who it is? He's a red and he's a pyro. It's gonna be Bosa Joe. Yes, and he's playing Two Fort. The only map true men play when you start out. Because, ah, dude, when I started playing Two Fort, I played Engineer and I was like, dude, if I put a sentry here and a dispenser here, no one is ever, ever gonna be able to take the intel. And so I did. So, this is him, the loadout. And this is the man melter, and he's gonna be using it, and we're gonna be looking at how he uses it. So he's on two fort. All right, I'm gonna be looking. Oh, a soldier! Quickly, shoot the, get the soldier. Just got, yeah, we put him on fire. This weapon sucks. God. That's pretty much the the entire thing summarized. But we're gonna look more at it anyway. Um, of course, he shouldn't have used the man melter because the man melter is good when the enemy team has a lot of pyro. So currently you are, in order to be do better with the man melter, 
I, I guess because of the 50% faster firing speed, it's easier to get uh, to land a hit. But if you're used to the flare gun, the flare gun's been around for so much longer and so much more used. Having the 50% faster uh, projectile speed is just going to be kind of alien and foreign, and I missed a lot of shots. And another thing is that this thing lacks kick, so it's hard to tell when you're shooting and when you're reloading. Like you can see, it's just holding it. It's no reload animation. When can you fire again? And you're totally dependent on other pyros on the other team to hurt your teammates with fire in order for this weapon to actually be better. So that's like the main problem with this weapon is that, well, first of all, it's like, it just has a little kick when you shoot, but it doesn't have any clear indication when you can shoot next. As you can see, there's no reload and you have like, you have this cool thing here. Like basically this could like fill up when you could fire another round, like basically fill the entire chamber. That would be cool. Like you shoot and it's empty, uh, but no. So Mr. Busaggio is completely dependent on being able to extinguish this pyro's flames in order to do, do well. But here we're just on two fort, just doing some shooteroos. Just using this always and nothing else. And oh, people are attacking. Yeah, let's get into yeah, because we're safe in the water, right? We're safe in the we're safe in the, we're safe in the water, right? We're not safe in the water. Fucking sharks. Fucking sharks. So it's, it's pretty hard to use the man melter if you're only gonna use the man melter, but let's see how we do it when we save lives. So basically, you can extinguish teammates with the regular, with all flamethrowers except the flagitionator. So naturally you wanna use the flagitionator, but you can use this one as too, because you can reflect with, you know, your uh, flamethrower, but not this thing. You can only absorb flames. And you totally depend on the enemy team having a couple of pyros, which you do, and this is Cubus. And the enemy team has a pyro, so it's not worthless. It's kind of like wearing the Razorback if the enemy team doesn't have a spy. You know, because no one else but the spy can backstab. There we go, just burn, 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 using the degreaser for faster weapon switch. I like the idea, it's too bad that the weapon doesn't do very well what it's supposed to do. Uh, I would like to see it have some more nifty features other than just faster projectile speed, because the damage is actually less on a consecutive hit, while it's more on every other, uh, other unlock that isn't uh, utility such as the sports shot, so that's always something to keep in mind. But we got our wits as a hero today. This is Cubus. Watch as his medic, he is going to suffer. He's going to suffer really hard. So he's like, well, I'm just gonna go this way, and his medic's like, I'm stunned and on fire. <gasps> What's gonna happen? Good camera work, GPS. Get, save the medic. Shoop. Save them. Our hero, everybody, Cubus. The end. No, we're not done. We're gonna get through this. So now he has a crit, right? So, oh yes, we used the crit. Now we got, yes, I hit, we hit somebody with the crit. Oh, be careful. Did he die? Did he die? Did he get dead? Did we get him? No, he just picked up the health back and he's fine. <laughs> got away. And that's the problem. Because you see, the crit damage on this thing is the same as the flare gun. So why would you ever use this? When you have the flare gun, because most of the times when you shoot people, because first of all, they do the same damage. You just shoot faster and it's not, it's already pretty fast. 50% of pretty fast is still pretty darn fast. You just add darn. And uh, yeah, that's like the, the whole idea. Basically, you can stop watching right now. We we have the, the thing. This weapon is, is not gonna be surprising. It's not gonna be like surprise at the end I'm actually good at something that you didn't know. No, it actually it, it needs something else. It needs something else to be good But the Cubas he is you know being a bit defensive and then getting shot by I think this asshole up here Yes So I hope you're starting to get the idea of the man melter and it's a lack of uh, usefulness just in general. It's not, uh, not very fun to use. I played with it 
for a little bit, and it's one of my least favorite weapons in the entire game. Because I have the flare gun. Why would I ever use this if I have the flare gun? The flare gun's better in every aspect. And you might say, well, you have infinite ammo. And it's like, yeah, okay, so you have infinite ammo. All right, you have infinite ammo. So that means if you fire 17 shots without, you know, grabbing ammo or running into anyone or killing anyone, you can actually do it. All right, so. First, let's check how long it takes. Let's see. Let's see how long it takes to empty a clip of a flare gun of 16 shots. All right, let's see how long 16 shots is. All right, I'm gonna start the timer on my new watch. Okay, let's see, go. Mind you, we are not picking up any ammo. I'm not getting close. All right, so 30 seconds. All right, 30 seconds. Okay, so it was 30 seconds. That's all right, that's fine. So then we're gonna use this one. Okay, so. Here we go. Huh? We beat the flare gun! Victory shot! So yeah, I'm not very good. It takes a while and that was just to illustrate how long it takes to empty you. As a pirate, it takes you 30 seconds of constant shooting to empty yourself. So, yes. I don't even know why, I don't even understand why they gave it infinite ammo. Does, <laughs> 30 seconds! You can get pretty far in 30 seconds. How long does it take? How long does it take for a pack of ammo pack to respawn? Hmm, that's 10 seconds, so basically it's three ammo packs respawn worth of time. But anyway, uh, we're gonna be moving on. This is Cubas here on Dust Bowl, but he's playing the wrong class. He's on the correct team, which is red, of course, and but he is on Pyro. He's gonna be using the Degreaser and the Power Jack along with the Man Melter. And um, we're just gonna see how he plays. You know, he hits the Scout right there. So, so far, as long as you just fire one shot and you hit with that one shot, it's... It's the same. It's better, I guess. But if you hit with a consecutive shot, it's worse. Uh, but if you hit with a crit, it's the same as if they were already on fire. Now, I don't know if you do less damage while they're already on fire when you have a second crit, but I guess that it's a mystery that we will never know the answer to because this weapon is about worth a half a scrap. So there you see, you get the crits and then you miss. And that's like the thing that is the problem with uh, similar to the diamond back that we have before is that when you stock up with crits that you want to use, you kind of get pressurized that you want to use them, and then you miss, and you waste your opportunity, and you squander the entire potential that the gun never had. And then the medic just crits creeps you anyway, and you get it on the flamethrower, and you realize this weapon is a lot better than having the other thing. So once again, it's just going back. It's also doing basic spy checking. You know, important. Oh, save the medic. Yeah, save the medic. Now we have stored a crit, and who are we going to give this crit to? This pyro is getting healed. We got him regardless. Yeah, boy! So far, so good. Oh, there's a sentry! Crit the sentry. Can you, can you do that? I don't think you can do that. So. 
it's like it suffers from a lot of what a lot of different weapons suffer from unlocks it's like always the same like always less damage or the same it's like the same thing similar to like the uh the classic you know iron bomber always the same or sometimes less always less or sometimes the same uh so there we go uh, that was it. So there was a lot of dust bowls. I hope you guys like dust bowl because dust bowl is great. So we're just gonna speed this one up because you know dust bowl. It's a fair map if you're on red. So this is Cubus uh, once again. I think no. This is someone else. This is not Cubus. This is Boz 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 Dario. I think that was the first guy. Yeah. So he's gonna be standing here just shooting. One, two, three, four, five. Didn't extinguish that guy. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, he went to the dispenser. Fuck, it didn't add up. I didn't utilize my infinite ammo. I ran back at fourteen, not sixteen. God, you fucking piece of shit. God, I should have utilized it. But you see, like, that's what I mean. You can fire fucking... 16 shots and then you can look for ammo and there's a big chance that an engineer will have had the time to build a dispenser and make it level 2 before uh, you're done emptying your clip. Uh, and also stock shotgun is probably the best choice uh, for some time anyway. So, uh, landing consecutive hits actually does less damage than your initial hit. So if you shoot people that's already on fire, you're doing something wrong uh, with this weapon. So that is always a shame. I don't think that's intentional. That shows up on no damage spread servers anyway, but Val hardly ever tests that, I think. At least not with this gun, so that might be something I want to look into. Unless, you know, the first afterburn and the first initial hit stacks, and that's why it's 33 and not 30. But the other gun doesn't do that, so whatever. So we've been using this throughout pretty much the entire replay. We haven't been able to get... I'm not sure how many kills we got, but it's not a lot. We've been doing pretty poorly. We're running back here. Okay, just be careful. Oh, we're still alive. Oh, just, oh, shoot. Oh, fuck. Grab the helicopter. Okay. We are gonna. Oh, the pyro. Okay, okay, we got the crit. We got the crit. We got the crit. Alright, we got two crits. 200% crits. Alright, so. Time to use this crit. So we're gonna do 90 damage on someone soon. Alright, a soldier. Alright, oh, careful. Okay, yeah, my team is taking care of that. I don't need to. Waste my crits. I'm gonna save my crits. You know, for the big fish. You know, the fat Russian guy that sometimes comes around in the corner. Let's see. Oh yeah. Okay, they took care of that. Great teamwork, guys. Okay, just standing by. We're holding position. And hey, ha! It's in. Ha! It's in. Fuck. Mm, just darn, darn, diggity, darn, darn, gosh darn. But. How does this gun fare against buildings? You might ask. Well, first we run into a pyro mid replay. And then we get air blast him back. But look at this. Oh, dude, we have the ultimate strategy engineers and pyros on defense. Yes. So, welcome to the pyro secret attack on the establishment that is over here. Yes, that's right. These guys still stand a chance. When you're AFK, you're... Fuck you. Come on, get the building. Get the building. Yes, we got the building. Get the dispenser. We got the dispenser. Yeah. Hadouken. Time to go. Time to go and get the... Okay, there's a bunch of guys. Shoot. Yeah. We're gonna... We're gonna run back. And that was the end of that adventure. Nothing else interesting happened during that time. So, um, here's another thing that you can't use this weapon for. I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you, just a moment here. So we're gonna be on Dust Bowl still. It's still gonna be our friend Bosadio with the two dominations on Dust Bowl here. Yes, excellent. So we're just gonna run around and uh, check for some uh, good guys to kill. You know, because the blue. Oh, there's a heavy. It's that's fine. I'll just go back in. Heal back up using the dispenser because, uh, well, we still have a medic. Hatador, that's a very good name. Let's see. Oh, oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh, shoot the bomb. Oh, can't shoot the bombs. That doesn't work. Okay. Mm. Shoot something down the corner there. Shoot. Oh, careful, careful. Alright, take it easy. 
Easy operation. Yeah, it's an easy operation. Oh, well, let's just go back a little bit. And grab a health kit. And, okay, we're back. Okay, get ready. And, what? what the fuck? Look out for stickies! There's a bunch of stickies. Look <laughs> for the st All right, remove the stickies. We can... Oh. Summer's hole. See, but I'm scratching myself here. Oh boy. <laughs> well, you can't remove use it to remove stickies either. Just confirming. Just confirming. So let's look at a replay that I normally don't look at because. Um, it's a custom map. Normally I don't accept custom map, but I just happen to have it. But, uh, this is one of the rare occasions that we had in this, uh, ep we're going to have in this episode so far. And that is actually doing something successful with the bad melt, because that is rare. That is very, very rare. If the replay would load, that is. Yes, there we go. All right, so this is going to be none other than Teddy Le Sharp. This guy. All right, so he's going to be using the thing that's good in water on a map that doesn't have water because he's just that of a badass. You know, he wants, he makes the, the, ladies, the ladies wet and then he just uses the whatever. So he's going to move the cart and just kind of hang out. By the way, this is his loadout. Looks pretty cool. Oh, shoot. Oh, I hit the scout. Did you see that? Look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool though. Leaving no trace. Melting the man away. That's always nice. Oh, we get Uber using the flog. The intended, the intended item for this man melter. So it works pretty well. Works pretty okay. Oh, yes. Oh, give me the crit. Give me the crit. What are we going to use the crit on? Wow. Got an asshole down there. The rays are back. Boop. You're dead, son. So that's actually some successful kills we've had with this weapon uh, throughout this entire episode. Otherwise, this weapon has been uh, not that great. So there you go. We're going to go up here with the crits and just kill absolutely the medic and nothing else. But we got what was important, and that was the medic. So it's fine. So... What else is the Man Melter good for? Well, it's good for another couple of things that I might not have noted, but we'll take a look at that right now. So, in case you've given up all hope, fair or not, this thing does actually have a fun factor left as soon as the map loads. Let's see. Loading takes a while, yes. There. there we go. All right, so what else is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Just kidding. This is v v v v smiley f smiley space. V v v v v space. Whatever. So he's gonna be playing pyro here on Gold Rush, getting a kill here. Oh, doing the what the fuck was that? He lost. I think he lost. Let's, let's just go back. I think he lost. The mouse off his mouse pad. Like, yeah, the key went so it's like off the table. Let's see if we can simulate that. Okay, so here's him moving the mouse. Comes the ah, I lost it off the table. Shit. Okay, fine. It's fine. We lost it off the table. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Ah, we put him on fire and we reflected and shit. So we're doing good. Using the degreaser, we're being really technical. Ah, yes. The postal pummeler pummeling him to the ground. Ah, oh, we get the crits. Excellent. Oh, come here. Oh, uh, we have crits already. Don't need to store up on crits. And now we have faster projectiles, which should technically be better. At this point, you're just floating around. Oh, just get fucking, just, yeah, you go there and let's see. Oh, yeah. All right. First to the time you don't succeed. All right, the, the second time you don't succeed. 
Okay, the fourth time you don't succeed. Oh, you died. Picture of a beaten man. Taken down. So, yeah. Uh, moving on. Let's see how this weapon fares on Thunder Mountain, my favorite map. This is gonna be. Dot Dare Kirby. Playing Pyro. And this is his loadout. Dude, I love these eyes. These are like the best. Oh, but they freeze every. Okay, let's just look at them in slow motion. Look at those eyes. Don't they move? I think they move. Yeah, oh, it's because we're moving so slow they don't move. Okay. Yeah, look at this. Really funny. Alright. So we're moving up. Oh! One crit, two crit. Ah, uh, yes, because you can actually hold this one and just, like, just vacuum all the crits. So you can distinct extinguish a lot of teammates. But the thing is, you gotta hit the target. And whoops, you're dead. So even though you have 50% faster movement speed, uh, projectile speed, it doesn't help. It doesn't help. It doesn't make it any easier. Um, would be would be nice if they if they made the projectile bigger or something, so it's easier to hit targets or or just change it all together. But this is gonna be Gazizan, yeah, our hero that hasn't been around for a while. He used to submit shit all the t all in the way back. Now he's kind of back. I guess he's doing law school or some shit like that. But still has time, you know, making time for TF2, fighting the good fight. So he's going to be using the Phlogistinator with the Mad Melter, which is probably a good choice because if you want to extinguish teammates, you want to use the uh, flamethrower that can also reflect it. Oh, look at this. Okay. You fat nothing Yeah, get him. Burn, 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 burn. Burn, burn, burn. Oh, using the crits. Oh, I'm just melting everything! Uh, oh, he used the Mad Melter once. Qualified for twice, three times. Four times. Oh, five times with the crit. All right, so we're gonna go around the side. Running up at speed. Oh, using the crits. Oh! Oh, burning everything! Oh, I get wrecked, devil man. Peace off, wanker. Burn everything. Another crit! Oh, chaining him! Bur oh. That was the wrong sign, but I guess it worked. Um, did it matter if you used the phlogistonator or not? Or, I mean, the man melter? No, didn't fucking make a single lick of difference. He got like one crit off on the heavy. And that was it. That's like the only difference. Rarely any any difference. So, let's look at something that you might not know. And that is, did you know that you can reflect these things? And if you have watched the wiki, you know that you could. There we go. Pew, pew. Oh, wait. Wrong thing. This is Christian Ma, who have been trying to submit some replies, but he was like, this weapon is fucking shit. And I'm like, yes, I know. And that's why I didn't want to do it in the first place. So there we go. Okay. So let's see if they... Do you think they can reflect? Will they reflect? Come on. Well, place your bets. Yay! You did it! They reflected it. You can reflect the thing. It reflects as a flare. It's a bug. So yeah, we've seen that. So now, let's go on to... Let's see, was there anyone else? Nope. Alright, so we will go on to my replay, the last replay of the day. Which, um... I think this was the last replay I played with this thing, and I was like, well, you know, this weapon. I'm not gonna use it, it sucks. I'm just using the. This is my pyro, by the way. This is crazy chicken pyro, quack quack. And, oh, killing the mini sentry here. Let's see. And, 
the soldier stole my frag. All right. Okay. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, use the power deck to move around. Yo, the sentry. Oh, okay. Run away. Run away. So the power deck. The power deck's actually pretty darn good. So is the regular flamethrower as well. Oh. Okay, I got a guy to my friend. Ah, yes, I killed the pyro with it. All right, excellent. So, reflect. Shit, okay, reflect. They, they were overpowering us, but there, there we go. That was the Man Melter episode. This weapon sucks. All right, as long as the flamethrower, the detonator, and the scorch shot are the way they are, there's no reason to justify by using this. The only... The only instance this weapon comes out on top is if you only fire one shot. If you only fire once and don't hit consecutive targets and you hit that shot, it's marginally better. The damage is the same, but the it's the projectile speed that's faster, not the fire rate. But it's also hard to get a fix on the fire rate because it lacks a proper reload animation, so you don't get the good feel of when you can shoot and when you can't. While as the others, they have a very clear reload animation that helps doing that, but the Man Melter does not nails has a couple of bugs where you can actually you've like hold down the weapon and the other button or something you can drain all your crits without firing shit like that uh, really ruins the gun but yeah it is only better in the following circumstances one you fire a single shot of flames from someone far away that isn't already on fire and two you do the same with them, without them being on fire as well so this is a gun where you sh if you only shoot once on the first hit and don't shoot them again then it's then it's all right. Faster projectile speed, you will hit them faster. So, yeah. But if your enemies are at any point in time already on fire, or you use your flamethrower with fire and air blast in combination, this weapon will be worse every single time. Uh, so, yes. So, with that, uh, next episode is actually going to be... Uh, I was going to do a demo man episode, but we did a lot of demo man episodes in a row. We did like the quickie bomb launcher and the uh, iron bomber back to back. But uh, I think we'll do an engineer episode. And the next topic is going to be the Widowmaker. Yes, the Widowmaker for the engineer. Uh, so you can submit replays of that. And please use the Widowmaker in a setting where you would actually have used for it so you don't just like you with the widowmaker you can essentially do the same thing you do as a sh regular shotgun if you just use it as a regular shotgun you can absolutely do that it's no problem but i'm after like what can the regular shotgun not do compared to this thing and and vice versa the strength and the not non-strengths uh so so that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching and i will uh, hopefully get some replays from that and i hope you uh, i hope you're enjoying you know high team and the other stuff that i make so yes bottom line man melter sucks flamethrower detonator scorch shot is better most of the time like 95 percent of the time it's worse to use the man melter so uh thank you guys for watching and i will see you uh later i guess